Alright guys, here I am with my full review of JB Sorcery. I know I was going to do a full review on version 2.2, .2, but just today, version 2.3 came out and I upgraded. So it's going to be a mixed review of 2.2, .2, then the nightly builds that were in between, which is 2.1, 2, 3, and 4, and then now 2.3. So it's kind of a mixture of all the JB Sorcery ROMs this week. Um, I installed this last week and it's been a week so I'm going to do my full review. As you see I have my phone set up. That's to make your clock widget by the way with the 7 circle skin. It's a 7 circle skin. Um, I'm using icons from the Flash. AOKP style. Um, Franco Kernel Updater because it's an awesome app and because I, I use this kernel a lot and then I'm using Google Bean theme from the D1 Dynasty which is just an awesome theme but let's just jump right into settings actually I hope you don't mind but I'm kind of I moved because the sun was in my window and it was just really bright and so I'm using my wall I know it's an ugly wall, but it works. It gets the job done. So let's jump right into JB Control Center. Um, under battery, this is where you can turn on your battery mods and stuff like that. So if you want like the circle battery and any other kind of battery, I'll get to that in a minute what the battery mods are. Then you have the, your battery bar, the My UI style. It doesn't really work that well with this theme. As you see because the theme up there. Let's go back. Then clock. You can choose your clock style, right or center or vanish. You can have your AM PM style and current weekday. So let's go back. You can change the signal, like you can have text and stuff for it. Let's go to magic UI. Um, under here you can disable your boot animation. You can show your notification count. Um, enable your volume panel. This is the volume panel by the way, if you hit volume up. This enables you to hit settings and like you can control your volume. 180 degrees rotation is when you just turn your phone upside down. Sorry, get it to refocus there. Um, IME switcher is your keyboard and the kill all button. The kill all button is useful because like when you hit the recent apps you don't have to swipe each one individually. It has a kill all right there. I don't use it because it kind of slugs down the uh, UI a little bit and it makes it a little bit slower. Um, under here, like see like how you just swipe away one at a time? If you use that kill out you wouldn't have to do that. Let's keep going. Under navigation bar, this is where you can change their, the uh, nav bar keys. You see you have back, home, recents, and uh, notifications. So I don't have to reach up and touch it. Um, you can have one through five. You can choose whichever one you want. I have four. You see, you can change your uh, like. There's a few, and also you can just have custom apps. Um, like the nav ring is when you press and hold, and now you're able to just choose custom apps right there, which I think it's pretty pretty cool. I think they got that from AOKP. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they got that from AOKP. Um, here's where you edit your navigation bar thingy. It does take a minute to load. That's because I have like 200 and something apps. And it does sometimes just freeze. Let me lock it and unlock it to see if that helps. So while that's kind of stuttering a minute, here's the lock screen. You have your time, you notice it's centered with the weather, battery percentage. You can have up to eight. I have Plume, Google Now, Google Plus, Camera, Email, Pandora, and uh, Gmail. But here's where you, it's kind of slow, but just press settings. Then you can choose anything you want, like custom application. Not gonna do that right now, but it's kind of slow in the beginning, but it is a new feature, so I mean, you just got to realize that. And then you can choose your height and width and stuff like that. So, power menu. So, when you press and hold power button, 
Those have screenshot and the navigation bar controls. Just keep going. You can have AOKP and CM9 styles um, toggles at the same time. The top one is Sign Engine Mod. The bottom is AOKP. I like the look of uh, Sign Engine Mod toggles better, but it's just personal preference. I like how the Sign Engine Mod toggles actually expand across your the notification shade. The AOKP toggles don't do that. I'm not sure why, but um, let's just go to enable toggles. You see, if you don't want any of these, just uncheck them all and the AOKP toggles won't be there. Same for CM, just uncheck them all. Like, just uncheck Power Widget and it won't be there. Then you recheck it and it's there. And then you can change the widgets and all that. Um, under lock screen options, here's where you can have the layout. Excuse me. Um, you can have the low lock ring, like you can have it centered. I have the high lock ring because, as you see, I have the eight, and I kind of need the uh, the high lock ring, or else like that would kind of get cut off in the bottom, and it'd just be weird. So I have the high lock ring, but if you only have, say, the five, you could choose the low lock ring. And also, here's where you choose your shortcuts. I just have the custom shortcuts that I just told you earlier. Um, here's where you turn on the weather on the lock screen. Here's where you mess with like the lock screen weather settings. Um, also, here's where you turn on the status bar weather. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but you can have it above carrier text, which that kind of looks cleaner to me. I like that. I'm actually gonna kind of leave it like that because that looks cleaner. So let's go back. Um, lock screen weather style, you can have the weather panel or just text. So let's lock it, unlock it, and now you see it's the same as on the status bar, you just got the text. I, I kind of like the uh, weather panel though, so, and also you can have your calendar. I don't really have any calendar, well, I do have calendars, but not really any for, uh, like anything important. Um, you can turn on lock screen rotation so if lock it and unlock it now you can also rotate lock screen kind of get like that it gets kind of cut off a little bit but not too bad actually I don't really want my lock screen to rotate because if my phone accidentally unlocks in my pocket and it's like rotating all, all over the place I don't really want that so Here's where you can have your battery percentage, volume rocker music controls, quick pin unlock, and then show your lock screen before the pattern and stuff like that. And also your LED options, which you can change for each app. You just have to add an app and then change the color. Also, you can have the LED flash while the screen is on. You can change how long the interval between the flashes and stuff like that. Sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. Ah. <coughs> uh. Excuse me. I've been sick for the last few days. That's why I haven't really made videos. Um, that's weird. On um, JB Sorcery version 2.2, they had NFC polling mode that I wanted to show you guys. That I thought was pretty cool. Um, so if your screen was off and you had a Nexus 7, you could still tap it, like even while the screen was off. I'm going to be doing a video on a LKP Jelly Bean Build 2 on that soon because I've been using Build 1 and it's been sluggish, but that's for another video. Um, here's the JB Sorcery Tools, which is just awesome. Um, featured is where like they're like kind of favorited. Um, here's where you, you have your battery icons, though. I am connected to Wi-Fi, as you see, because service isn't that great in my house. But say here, here's the Andy battery. I think the Andy battery looks sweet. It's a little Android. You can change. There's many colors too. See purple, red, pink, green. But here's just the regular. This is if you turn on battery mods and hit OK, it will install this. I'm not. I don't have the battery mods turned on, so it's not going to show. But you can also change your soft keys. You can change. See, so say you want text Army of Darkness, or you want text 60 thin I didn't mean to hit okay oops mm -hmm. where's that stock at here we go so like I'm, I'm just gonna go back to stock and you're gonna see 
it does look like a little uh, UI restart. Oh, the themes. I, so I have to reapply the theme. My bad. But while that's applied, I kind of want to show you guys. There's these like cool looking blue ones. You can also have HTC ones. So if you want it to look like the HTC One X, <laughs> I'm on a boat. I'm on. Ah, that's sweet. I like that. I haven't really been messing with these because I messed with these in a uh, 2.2. I don't know if they've installed new ones since I messed with it in a uh, 2.2. But here's the uh, keys that I really like. Those are just awesome looking. Since I already theme's already gone, I might as well show you guys those. It takes a second to download and then just. I probably shouldn't have installed the black ones. So, I'm sorry. I'm going to hit OK on the white ones. There you go. Now you can actually see them. Aren't they cool looking? I, th I think they're cool looking. So let's go back. Then you can change all the icons in your status bar too. I'm not going to go through all these, but you see, you can always re return to stock. So you see there's, you, you can have a 4G little LTE instead of just HSPA+. Plus. Well, if you're like me on the HSPA+. Plus. Nexus, then miscellaneous. You can change weather icons. So if you prefer like the sign engine mod weather icons over AOKP, you can choose those. And also you can so much. Didn't mean to hit that. Um, you can change the lock screen circle. They have a a lot of uh NFL players. I'm just gonna show you guys the green super user. That'll be in your lock screen. You can have your car just show you guys a few but they have a lot and then you can change the color of the glow dots on the screen they have a lot of colors you can change the animations so instead of having just a stock jelly bean style animations you can choose these animations and then at the bottom you can just return to stock here's where you can choose from over 200 boot animations they have a lot of boot animations um I usually go for like the HD ones because they look the coolest it takes a minute to load because it is like an actual video type file um and then you just hit download and it downloads and it, and it installs for you so that would be your boot animation you can have a pull down wallpaper for your notification shade you can choose a custom wallpaper also an app wallpaper for all, all your apps you see this this would have a custom wallpaper behind it instead of the theme that I'm using so you can have an app wallpaper for all your apps which I think is pretty awesome I did uh, install the app wallpaper and it, it doesn't work on a few apps but it works for, for most here's where you have the recovery tool the JB sorcery add-on packs the GPS fix if you're having GPS issues, bitrate mod for your camera to incre increase your camera, the Galaxy S3 sound, so you have the little water when you unlock your lock screen, the water when you lock it, uh, it's got the little whistle and the notification, got awesome beats, not seeing media fix, and then exchange security bypass thing. Let's go over to device manage. This is where you can manage your installed apps, download extra applications recommended by the sorcery team. You can have push notifications, and then you can have ROM updates. This is how I knew there was a version 2.3 out. It's a good thing I waited for my video, too, because it's just... And also, you can change the update interval. And then you can have the Root Explorer. You can download and install themes from here. You can install custom themed apps. This is a theme engine where you select your own uh, themes that you have. As you see, I'm using Google Bean. I'm using the paid version because... It is a really awesome theme, so I decided to buy it. Um, y you can try out the free version, but there's not as much themed as there is in the uh, paid version. Dev tools, spare parts, terminal emulator, testing menu, wireless ADB. And then you can block ads from here, clean your cache, fix permissions, wipe battery stats, zip line all your apps. You can install kernels from here. This is where you can overclock, kernel tweaks, and build prop. And let's go back to about phone because I didn't, when I, I did a fresh install, I, I wiped everything and then reinstalled my apps just today for build 2.3. It comes with the stock Android kernel. I was using the faux 123 kernel 
and it was actually running pretty good without running a Franco kernel. Let's go through here. Let's go to display. See if there's anything custom. Just uh, custom backlight setting. Let's go to sound. You have your music effects. They, they do have a custom uh, notification tone though. So let's go to the media storage. Um, Sorcery. That's their custom. Sorcery. I, th I think it's kind of cool, but and here's the JB Sorcery Info Center where you have your news, their, their websites, the forums, and then their credits. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Whoa, what was that lag? You guys see that lag? It was a little bit of lag when it opened. Um, it comes with I don't I don't know if I backed up and installed Apollo or not, but. It comes with your flashlight. That's one thing I wanted to point out. You know how uh, Science Mod has their torch app. This comes with this comes with their your flashlight. I don't really I don't really like it honestly. It kind of sucks. Not trying to be mean. I don't think they have any custom wallpapers. They don't have any custom. So, no custom wallpapers, but you do have their awesome toggles, which I'm going to try out AOKP, see if I like that. If not, I'm going to, I'm probably going to come back to this ROM, because I, I love the customizations. Let me show you guys the boot animation, too. One thing to note is that this phone takes forever to turn back on. Not sure why. Bam. Oh, I forgot. Push push my computer back. Bam. No, no. Sit the, no, okay. Sorry. That was my special moment. Here's their boot animation. It's weird. HDMI cord is kind of randomly popping out right there. Okay, it's not going back. Wow, this is like almost a 20 minute video. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was so uh, long. <laughs> That's what she said. I <laughs> know, sorry. Um, see how long it takes to boot up though? What? It's been like a minute. Not trying to diss the, this ROM, but my LG Ally boots up faster than this does. Bam. This is my old LG Ally, by the way. Wow, that phone is thick. Alright, sorry. But here we go with the boot animation. I mean, the it booted up. Waiting for my clock to load. Didn't mean to click it. But anyways, guys, this was my full review. Get my, get that phone out of here. This was my full review of JB Sorcery on the uh, GSM Galaxy Nexus. Let me go into battery stats real quick and show you guys. Took a little bit to load there. It's got a battery because I've been using this for pretty heavily actually. 59 seconds. Oh, that's probably because I've rebooted, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Everything's gonna go off at once. Um, so I can't show you guys battery stats, but I've I've been getting through the day fully with this ROM. So, so I give this video a like if you uh, if it helped you out any making your decision on a ROM. Really stable video. I mean, <laughs> really stable ROM. I really recommend you trying it. I need to change my navbar keys. But anyways, guys. This was my full review of JB Sorcery on the GSM Galaxy Nexus.